Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about a new problem that we got from Singapore Mass Olympiad from 2019. In this problem, we have floor of x squared minus floor of x squared is equal to 100. We know x is a real number and we want to find the minimum possible value that we can have for x. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about the problem. To solve this problem, we are going to start with writing x as floor of x plus fractional part of x. This is true because floor of x is going to be the integer part of x and fractional part of x is going to be just a fractional part. Now we can write 100 as floor of floor of x plus fractional part of x to the power of 2 minus floor of x squared. Now we are going to remove the floor operator from the first term. If we do so, then 100 is going to be less than or equal to floor of x plus fractional part of x to the power of 2 minus floor of x to the power of 2. From here, we are going to use a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a times b. If we do it, then we will remove floor of x to the power of 2 and we just have fractional part of x to the power of 2 plus 2 times floor of x times fractional part of x. And 100 is less than or equal to this expression. Now we know fractional part of x is less than 1. So instead of using fractional part of x, we will use 1. And we can write 100 is less than or equal to 1 plus 2 times floor of x times 1. If we simplify it, then 100 minus 1 is going to be less than or equal to 2 times floor of x. And if we divide both sides by 2, then we will have floor of x greater than or equal to 50. Remember 100 minus 1 over 2 is not an integer. So floor of x is going to be greater or equal to the nearest integer, which is 50. Now let's go back and review the original question that we had. We had 100 is equal to floor of x squared minus floor of x squared. Since x squared is greater than or equal to floor of x squared, we can simplify the expression and write it 100 is less than or equal to x squared minus floor of x squared. So we will continue with writing 100 is less than or equal to x squared minus floor of x squared. If we rearrange it, then we will have 100 plus floor of x squared is less than or equal to x squared. We also found that floor of x is greater or equal to 50. Since 50 is the minimum value for floor of x, we can say that x squared is greater or equal to 100 plus 50 to the power of 2. So x squared is greater than or equal to 2600. As a result, minimum value that we can have for x is going to be a square root of 2600. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and maths involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.